Ellen, police are telling us that the shooter was an Arkansas native who had been living in a Willowbrook hotel for about a week now. But despite not having a permanent address here in Illinois, the cross-country driver seemed to derive a significant portion of his employment from Chicago area companies. Nikola Mishovic was 30 years old, a Serbian national. His loved ones are now trying to repatriate his remains after he was shot and killed at work yesterday by a disgruntled employee whom Burr Ridge police identify as Arkansas native truck driver Jeremy Spicer. He worked for them for one week. He delivered one load. Uh, there was and a disagreement about whether he wanted to do another one, so the company was going to fire him. But Spicer was not done yet. Upon leaving Winner's Freight, police say he went next door to forced transportation, where he shot a woman three times. She stated that she knew him as a previous employee of the company. He then unsuccessfully went in search of another former boss. There were three logistics companies involved, and they're all within that office park, and he worked for each of them. And we now know that more than nine months before the 31-year-old shooter ever walked into this Burridge office park with the intent of taking revenge on those he believed had wronged him, he was involved in another dispute with a former employer, this time in Schaumburg, where police records show that on June 11, officers were called to a trucking company there after Spicer physically threatened his boss over a payment dispute. But no arrests were made, and so any employer running a background check would only have found one thing on it. We know of one arrest uh, conviction out of Arkansas for domestic battery. It all came to an end when an hour and 40 minutes after that first shot was fired, police found Spicer nearly three quarters of a mile away, where he fatally turned the gun on himself rather than be arrested. Now, Spicer's surviving victim has not been identified other than to say that she is a former co-worker of his. Police telling us, however, that she is now in stable condition but still in the intensive care unit at Good Samaritan Hospital.